What's up guys, working from VIP Shop Management. I want everybody to get ready for next week as next week is gonna have a very important update for VIP Shop Management. Uh, we're gonna have two integration that's gonna make your shop better, stronger, and competitor with your surrounding. The number one thing that you need to sign up for is repair link. Uh, repair link is right here, and now I'm not getting paid. If you have some doubts in your head, zero. I don't get paid, nor they tell me to do this stuff. I do this stuff because I want the best for you and I want the best for your shop and if I still own my shop would I do that and answer hell yeah without even hesitation. Repair link. What is repair link? Just like next part only the beauty of it it's dealerships around you. So you know BMW, uh, Chrysler, Ford, GM, Kia all of them around you so you can create estimates from the dealership just like that. If you're a body shop, even better. You don't need CCC anymore because we got, you will be able to uh, create an estimate based on an illustration. So let's say the front bumper, we can get all these parts just like that with the OEM parts and OEM part numbers and send it to your cart and place an order. So we're gonna have full integration. I'm not gonna show you the integration right now. I'm only show you how repair link looks like. Let's check it out. I'm just gonna sign up real quick here. And uh, I'm just gonna select uh, the Grand Cherokee. I mean, all this stuff is gonna be fully automated after the integration next week. Um, let's just press enter. And so you're gonna have, let's, let's look at brakes first. I wanna start with brakes and the front brakes and I'm gonna show you the illustration which is that's how you can see every part that goes in that area that's how dealership work that's how always dealership kicked our asses back in the days because we didn't have this illustration I know you have all data Mitchell one and all this but that's not the same this is ordering parts so let's check it out look look at the front this is the front brakes right here I can see the shield that nobody ever could replace. Let's see how much the shield is that we could never replace when it's rusted in Michigan. It's, what is it? The shield splash, $17, $17. It's either you, you, you I mean, GM, I remember on GM, the, the shield get destroyed uh, on, on some pickup trucks back in the days. And we tried to bend it on and, and try to fix it and it's rusted as hell. It, we could have sold it for $17, but we didn't have this information, and now we do. Look at this. Let's see how much the hub bearing. This is my track hawk. Let's see how, how much is the hub bearing. Hub bearing. 107. 107 hub bearing. If I call Arizona O'Reilly, they want 157. So how in the world the hub bearing, OE hub bearing that lasts 100,000 miles or more, cost $107, but you don't know. How would you know? You need to call, you gotta give them the last eight digit, it's too late. So you need to sign up for repair links, you can get better, man, we all can get better. All right, let's talk about body shops real quick. Let's look at uh, something really different. Let's look at, uh, um, let's go to, let me see if I can go back, where is the back one? Still new, yeah, it's right there. Still new to this. So let's let's see if we're, let's see. I, I I I'm a body shop, or I'm doing some body work, and I say bumper. Just gonna search for bumper right here. And so we're gonna go to. Let's go look by illustration, front door. Oh, that's the door. Suspension. Let's pop bumper cover because we gotta be. All right, door. Front SRT and track hog, okay? All right, check this out, man. When did you ever could do that? Look at this. I can add all this stuff. First of all, I know what goes in that area. And you don't usually you don't know the name, so I can click on the on the on the number right there and get the the, the prices, and I can transfer it to VIP. 
So basically, if this car, God forbid, in my case, crashed, I'm gonna need all this stuff. Start checking. Add, add. Add, add. You know, you get the point. And then you can add them to the court and transfer them back to VIP. So you will be able. Let me let me let me get this straight. If you're a body shop, you will be able with VIP shop management to create professional real estimates. And if you're using if you're a body shop and you're using aftermarket garbage, then you know it is what it is. But this is the real part numbers. This is the, if I, I want, man, everybody loves their cars. Customers, if they have a 10 year old car, they love it too. And they want it, they want it back the way it was. They don't want some shitty garbage parts. I remember, man, how many of you uh, mechanics out there, you put the customer bring the car, it needs the struts because they leaked out. You put struts on. Now the car is running, it drives worse, worse than before. Why? Because the suspension, the, the aftermarket design one that fits all. How is it gonna fit all? Because this car weighs different than this car. OE, let me explain something more for, to most people. What the, what's the difference between OE parts and aftermarket part? OE parts. They must be tested. They're engineered specifically for that car. And they must be tested, not because they like us, they must be tested so they can avoid something called recall. If, if they created a part, that faulty part, they're gonna be stuck with the recall, they're gonna lose so much money and they might run out of business. So even, and with all this testing, sometimes they still have a recall. However, their primary job is test and test and test. With the aftermarket, nobody cares. If there's a fault or no fault, nobody knows. You're still gonna buy it anyway because it's cheaper. Their job is to make it cheaper and put garbage. I remember, man, I used to, we used to put ball joint in 05, 06 on a tourist. After we installed the ball joint, we tested it. There's already play in it, we couldn't believe it. Our boss used to buy seven dollar ball joint. Of course, it's gonna have gab in it. And guess how much was the ball joint at the dealership? Twenty dollars. We saved thirteen dollars. Great job! And put a faulty ball joint for the customer already. A customer doesn't know that. You gotta start giving the option to the customer. Hey, would you like OE parts, or would you like aftermarket? Aftermarket usually good for cars that has 200,000 miles, 150,000 miles and up. If my car has 30,000 miles and it needs something and you're trying to put some aftermarket junk on it, anything under 100,000 miles you should put in OE parts including the brakes. There is no, uh, you, you, you hear that saying always, uh, it meets OE or, 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 or better. Please don't tell me better and please don't tell me that it meets OE. No, it does not. Who's been testing it for the past six months? What engineers have been testing it? Number two, another thing that people don't realize. When, let's say, a control arm, right? And you buy a control arm from the aftermarket. Most of the time, the, the dealership don't really sell the specification. So what they do, they go measure it and make one it looks like it. And that's why when you install it, the cameras are way off. Because it's not OE. Now, I remember what, what car, there's a Taurus again, another Taurus, because it didn't have camera caster adjustment. We used to you replace the control arm, now the tires are like that. We couldn't do anything. Or like this, and it's either too long or too short. OE parts, man, you gotta start thinking this way. Fix the car correctly. Be a B, this is a VIP, be a VIP. Um, I get it, now every customer wanna buy, of course, but there are certain customers would buy. There's a lot of customers would buy. It's your job to give him the, <clears throat> it's, it's your job to give him the option. Hey, would you like OE parts? Let me give you, I'm gonna give you an estimate for OE parts, especially when you see the car has under 100,000 miles. Everybody wants their car really fixed. Man, I suffer from, I speak this from the heart. It has nothing to do with the, with the, with anything. I speak of this, I used to fix car. I'm bleeding, I'm sweating, and the car comes back because of faulty part. How many of you replace sway bar links, right? Sway bar links. 
and uh, you know the bolt that com the knot that comes with it you tighten it in and it strips the knot this is the garbage that you buy in how much is the sway bar links at the dealership twenty dollars great job sometimes we sometimes you pay more for aftermarket and people don't know so we want to move on and start using OE parts and still use them. I'm not saying we don't need aftermarket. They're both good. The combination of both is really good. I have multiple shops with VIP. They only use uh, repair link or they use uh, what's that called? Um, uh, World Pack. Because World Pack basically get the, the parts from the dealers too. But repair link is way better than World Pack because you, you're not, I mean, you're going to see something similar with World Pack. It's not like this. I've never seen something like that. And, uh, and you get the dealerships around you. Now the dealerships do deliver multiple times a day, not like before. Um, uh, check the prices, see if it's the same price sometimes. Like, I promise you, I mean, let, let's look at this. All right, so I'm gonna give you this. Let's, let's just see how much, what do we say about the hub bearing? What was it, how, $110, right? Let's go to uh, AutoZone. And I'm not bashing AutoZone, I love AutoZone. Let's see how much my hub bearing on AutoZone. for a 2018 Trackhawk. Let's see. Let's see if they have it. Anyway, forget that the, most of the time they don't have these parts because they don't make money on it. How bearing. All right, it's $64. Okay, it is cheaper and $99. All right, this is me though. I'm a customer, I drive a Trackhawk. And you came up and says, you know, I can get to the front hub, hub bearing at uh, AutoZone for $64. Uh, that's the regular one. They have a better one for $99. Or I can get you the OE, original equipment, for $109. Which one would you like? Would you think which one would I like as a track hawk? I'm going to want uh, the 109 not even question. If he said 150, I want the 150. I'm telling you, people love their cars. They want the best thing on their cars. They want to trust it. If I had, if it was, this is was, let's say, Grand Cherokee, regular Grand Cherokee, and has over 150,000 miles, and I don't want to spend the money. $64, perfect. Let's just do that. I'm saying, all I'm saying is give the customers the option. And with the repair link, we're going to give you the full power. So we're going to have an export right here and a repair link right here, aftermarket versus OE, and uh, in, just like that. A brilliant way. Another thing I want to talk about before I, I forget, before next week, is uh, I need everybody to sign up for go to Square. You don't have to have Square. I get it. Some people want to. They're comfortable with their credit card machine. And I, I've said before, man. Companies call me all day long and want me to integrate their credit card terminal with VIP. And I only integrate it with Square for one reason. It's easy to sign up. It's simple. You just and there's no gimmicks. There's no any charges. Two point six plus ten percent. Uh, ten, uh, what is it? Ten cents. Two per two point six plus ten cents. Um, they put the money the same day. Um, uh, you can put your account any bank Chase account. So you can bank with anybody. Uh, so it has all these good options. No, no, no fees. No hidden fees. No craziness. And um, and they have the the coolest square terminal. But if you like your terminal and you like you have better rates with your bank, no problem. But make sure you sign up with the tax to pay uh, you still can use your bank but if somebody calls and says hey can I pay for it? this is my granddaughter or my grandson I'd like to pay for it um, instead of taking the credit card over the phone make it easy on the customer now we can send them a link and he can pay for it and it will automatically pay I will be making videos for each of the for repair link and for square how it exactly works how to use it and no you don't need to have the score terminal to sign up just click on right there start with it start a square account right there just click on that and it basically it's gonna bring you right here and get started so sign up with square so you can be ready for that too I'm bringing you the stuff that doesn't cost you anything um, uh, the competitors man 350 400 get to get ready to the $500 with this inflation 600 
Uh, you don't make that much money. You're not a millionaire. Just face it. I was in your shoes before and the, whoever's paying this money, he, they lost their mind. I'm being honest with you. They lost their mind and the, the pain uh, later on, they think they're getting more. You're getting less. Uh, you got to be fast. I urge everybody and email me. If you ever left VIP and your, your revenue went up, I'll be surprised. Oh, hell no. I know somebody, man, who left VIP. We brought him from the cinema. It was what in the thirties. Now he's in. We brought him from the thirties to the ninety thousand, and he's like, you know what? I'm I'm ready to go to uh, uh, to a better uh, software now because I can't afford it. From ninety thousand, went back to thirty thousand. Don't mess with the stuff. VIP is fast. You're forgetting about this. VIP is fast. It creates estimates and invoices. We have all the best technology out there. Another thing I want to talk about, uh, people tell me, Mark, well, we need the phone and all that. Man, who told you that VIP will not get, will not get to have um, uh, the, the website, the, the web application at some point where you can open it on, on your phone? And no, it's going to be the same price still, $99. We're not going to raise the price. Take advantage, take advantage, man. This life is too short. Take advantage. Stop worrying about too much in the future. Another thing I get people tell me, well, what are going to happen 10 years from now? I don't know if we even going to make it for the next 10 years of what's going on. It's always something. But our job is not to focus on the bad stuff. Our job is to do our job every day. I watched the news yesterday. I wanted to hang myself. What is going on out there? But then I came up to my senses, like, Mark, I can't, I'm not a Superman. If I'm Superman, I would do something. Since I'm not a Superman, I just do my job right now. That's it. All of us, we just focus on our job. We get families, we get kids to raise. Focus on your job. Stop worrying about the future. I gave you the best two options. $55. If you, if you don't care, let me, let me explain this the easiest way. What's the difference between $55 and $99? If you don't, if you're not, if you don't care about accessing from home, if you don't want to use multiple computers, then go with the fifty-five dollars. Why you, why you need the cloud anyway? But if you care about, you don't worry about backup. You want to have multiple computers. You want to access from home, then go with the cloud. Ninety-nine dollars. You're getting parts catalog. You're getting text messaging. You're getting text to pay right now. Coming up. You're getting repair link. You're getting next part. Man, who's giving these options? Nobody. The reason we can give these options because we don't have overhead. It's not magic. It's not gimmick. We don't have overhead. It's an opportunity. When there's an opportunity, take advantage of it. And the more we have more customers, the stronger we are, we can kick ass. Take advantage. Take advantage. Take advantage. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time. This is my morning coffee, by the way, kicking in. Appreciate it. Until next time, thanks for watching.